everybody, it's Miss Nan from the Brazil Public Library, and today I have an Easter craft for you. So, uh, before you begin anything at all, go wash your hands. We're going to be playing with food, and we're going to be licking our fingers. Now, our craft today is going to be an Easter peep house. Not the regular graham cracker peep house, but I'm going to show you a different way to do it that the little teeny ones can build. And it's just as fun. So, we're going to start out first with, we need materials to build with. So, I've got some graham crackers here. I've got some colored wafer cookies. I've taken some just plain old regular white icing and I've added some neon food coloring to it and put them in little Ziploc bags and mixed it all up. So, I've got really neat colors here to work with. And the nice thing is, all we do is clip the little corner off the bagging, and we can squeeze it out. Now, if we're using just the white icing from the tin, we're going to still need some craft tools. So, popsicle sticks, tongue depressor, something along that line. Then we need our decorations, and that's all candy. I've got all kinds over here. I've got some little spice ones. I've got some jelly beans. I've got some chocolate eggs. There's some lifesavers, some sweetheart, and everything's going to be edible. You can eat the whole thing. So we're going to start out with, I put down a piece of wax paper just to kind of keep my mess down. I took a cardboard piece and I wrapped it in foil to make like my cake pan, just like this, so that it's all there. And we're going to start with just the plain old white icing. And it really is just white icing. And we're gonna start with putting up three walls. And here's how we're gonna lay them out. Have the kids take a wafer, have them take some icing on their stick and just spread it on. See that? Not a whole lot, but enough that it's going to stick. All right, we're gonna put a wall right there. We're going to grab another one. We're going to spread some icing on it. See, and it doesn't matter whether they get big clumps or not. When you set it and push it down, it's going to smooth out and level. All right. And we're going to put our last one on here. And then I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Let's stick this one down. All I've done is make a bit of a U. See? Now, we're going to just keep building up our walls, but this time I want to throw some colors in between. So, taking my bag, and we're just going to kind of squeeze it to make sure that it's all mixed up, and then squeeze it out of a corner. See what I've done? And then I'm going to take and just make the smallest little cut. So that when I squeeze the bag, watch this. See, it just pours down on it. And I'm going to do it again over here. And you just keep manipulating the bag until you got some to glue. Okay? Then we take three more. And we squish them on there, making sure that we can see some of our pink sticking out the side. Just like that. Okay, see? See how my pink's sticking out? Adds color. And we're going to continue this up uh, six, seven tall. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, got my walls in. And look, by variegating it, you're now seeing the pretty Easter colors coming through. So, we're tall enough. We're going to take two graham crackers and we're going to put a roof on this. Just a flat one. So, I'm going to take some of my purple here. Put my glasses back on. And we're just going to put a layer of purple. Just like we have with all the other layers. Just like that. 
and we're going to come across here. Now, it's not going to fit perfectly, and I don't want it to. Just want a flat roof area on it, okay? Because here's the secret. Mmm, icing's good. We're going to make a roof out of our pink ones here. And we're going to put them up like this, okay? So, for that, let's grab, oh, let's say the green one. Let's do green. And we're going to get an idea about where we want it. So just a little bit farther in, we're going to do a line like that. We're going to do another line like this. Now, let me show you. We're going to take one of our cookies, our wafers, and we're going to put just a little plop on the top there. Just like that, okay? But we're going to take our two, we're going to put it right into our green, and then we're going to touch these together just like that. Ta-da! Take another one. Put a little bit of green on the top. And we're icing it here, and this is what's going to hold our roof together. And we're going to take them, we're going to plop them in our green, we're going to meet them in the middle. And voila! One more. And that is why we wash our hands first. Because we get messy. And it's a good mess. So, once again, last piece of the roof. Right after this comes the fun decorating part where we put all the candies on it. Okay, one more piece. Plop in my green. Plop them together. And there we go. Now I'm smoothing this just so I don't have a big old blob in one spot and none in the other. Okay? So, there's our roof. There's our house. Okay? So now, now yeah, we get to decorate it. It's a peep house. So we got to have a peep. Do we want the peep inside? Do we want the peep up here? I kind of like the peep up top. What do you think? Let's put the peep on top. And we're going to glue it with, oh, let's put more of the green since we already have green there. So I'm going to put a blob up here. I'm going to put a blob at his bottom. And we're going to stand our peep up. Just like that. Now, Let's take some Easter eggs. Chocolate covered Easter eggs. Okay. And since the inside of a chicken coop usually has grass or straw, let's put a little bit of green inside here. And we're just going to do some plops. And you can also use your craft stick if you want. To smooth this out a little bit because it's going to hold it in place. And it's also going to look like a little bit of our grass. Now, if you want to go all out, you could get some, say, coconut and dye it, just like we have our icings here. But what I'm doing is I'm going to lay some eggs that our little peep already had and lay it in our house. See that? Okay, now let's make some boo-boos, huh? Let's take a little bit of icing and let's go right there for a stepping stone. And there. And there. Let's take some of this because it doesn't need to be that big and we'll put some there. We'll take some of this one and we'll put some there. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just making a kind of semi-flat dot. See this? Just a round little circle. For stepping stones. Because you got to have stones or a pathway, right? And then I'm going to take the sprinkles that came with this. 
and I'm gonna sprinkle them on. Okay, so we're sprinkling our little candy drops all over our little stepping stones, and we're gonna let that dry. And we're gonna continue decorating. So at this point, we can decorate the top. Now on this one, see, I put little candies around it. I put some windows on it with this. Let's add a window on this side. Show you what that looks like. And it's just as simple as a little square and a little cross. See, just like that. We want to add some candies here. So, what do you think? Maybe some gumdrops? Let's do some gumdrops. I'm just going to make a little line of icing right along here so that we can just place our drops wherever we want. Just like little bushes or flowers going down the side of our house. And by this time, if you don't have icing all over you, you are not doing this right. Let me tell you. Because I got it all over. I like my mouth too. Okay, so see, there's that. We can do the top. We can add pretties to the lid. Let's get, you know what? I think the green would be kind of cool. Where's my green? Here we go. So, we can make the roof look more like a roof by putting Yeah, just do a little, little like half moons on here. And they're not coming out so hot. I may have cut this one too big. But you know what? That's the fun of it, is that you can straighten it all up with your finger, just like that. We'll do one more little. And a little scallop on that side. This side, we can try something different. What I've done is I've, I have taken some uh, lifesavers here. And I stack them up like bushes. So let's get a couple of those going. And I put things on top. So let's throw a little purple here. And we can throw some lifesavers on there. Just like bottoms of bushes. And it doesn't matter if it's all the same color. You could do it all the same color if you wanted to. I like all the colors to Easter. So we'll stick one of those on there. One like that. We'll get yellow up here. You know, the possibilities are endless. Uh, okay, so just make sure that you let it dry before you start moving it around. It is icing, it is still wet, and it will fall apart. I know, I did it. So it gives you an idea of the different ways that you can do it when it's all dry. You can make it, you know, as big as you want it or as little as you want it. Take some photos. Uh, let me see what you've made. Let me see your masterpieces. And have a happy, happy Easter. Bye.